A super common complaint I see in the Final Cut Pro community is that you can't use the stabilization feature on multicam clips. While there is some truth to this statement, there's actually a very easy workaround. I have this clip that I shot for a recent Nutcracker performance, and you'll see that there's some shaky camera going on that I would love to smooth out. And if we take a look here on the right hand side, you'll notice that I have no stabilization options because this is a multicam. To fix this, all we need to do is park our playhead on the very first frame. Then double click on your multicam to open it up. The beauty of this is now our playhead is matching the same position that was in the primary storyline. So we know that if we create a cut on our clip inside of this multicam, it's going to be at the exact same spot as the cut in the primary storyline. Now, I personally like to add a bit of padding. So to do that, I'm gonna push back on my arrow keys, one, two, three, four, five, and that will give me five frames of padding. From there, I'm going to create a cut so we could just push B and create a cut here on the timeline. After that, we'll back out of the multicam by using this back arrow. Then we'll go to the last frame of our clip. And again, we'll open up the multicam editor. From there, we'll push forward five frames, one, two, three, four, five, just giving us that padding. And I'm gonna push B and create a cut. So we now have this separated element, which if we were to select, you'll notice over here on the right hand side, that we have access to stabilization. And by creating those cuts, we're not stabilizing the entire clip. If we were to stabilize the entire clip, that can introduce a lot of issues if you're working with really long media. So by separating it out, we're going to get the very best results. I'm gonna check this box for stabilization and I've already stabilized this in the past, so Final Cut Pro is good to go. But from there, we can back out by clicking this arrow. And if we push play on this clip, we can see that the stabilization has been applied to the multicam. If this video was helpful to you, consider pressing that like button as it does help tremendously. And you definitely need to check out this video next where I go in depth on some powerful multicam tips for Final Cut Pro. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.